Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing one humongous unboxing swatch video of a ton of goodies from Tarte Cosmetics. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, back last week I actually received a very, very generous package in the mail from Tarte and you guys, I was so excited. I was like screaming, I almost fainted. I was so, so excited and I'm so thankful to Tarte and to Lauren for sending me this package of goodies to try out that I asked you guys if you wanted to see a swatch video and pretty much every single one of you guys were like yes 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 show me the swatches so I thought what a great time with the VIB sale this week to go ahead and do some swatches of the products that they sent me in case you guys have had your eye on something and you wanted to see it swatched I am going to try to swatch everything so again a big thank you to Tarte and I just want to say before we get started, I would never post this kind of video to like brag or anything like that. I'm so appreciative and I'm also so grateful to you guys too for being so supportive when I do show like PR items and like I said, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys requesting it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and be quiet. Let's jump into the swatch video and if you're not subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button before you leave and yeah, let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay, I cannot wait to start swatching. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be swatching are the lip architects and these were the ones that I was so excited about because I saw them online and all the colors looked so wearable so this is what the packaging looks like I think it's so cute that you have little lips on each side and when you open it up you have two sides you basically have your like lip pencil and then you have your lip liner I think this is so great because one it's very small so it is very travel friendly to throw in your purse and then two you have like the perfect shade of lip liner all right here in one package okay so here are all the shades swatch and one thing I love about the lip architects is how creamy and smooth the formula is it just glides on really easy and they're so pigmented as well okay so starting with the top row right here this is the shade muse and this is my absolute favorite and then in the very middle you have romantic then over to the right you have a really beautiful shade of red and this is called diva then the next shade is more of a peachy nude and this is called daisy this middle shade right here is called cutie pie and then over here is sweet pea so yeah very pretty shades super pigmented and super creamy so if you guys have not checked those out I really really like these and I love all the shades and like I said it's good to just throw it in your purse and then you have your lip liner and your lipstick all in one and again the packaging is just so cute with the lips printed on it next thing they did send over are some of the rainforest of the C lipsticks what I was gonna tell you guys is they ended up having a like mega set bundle online that I saw and I wanted to do a full lip swatch video after I tested out the formula I like love it so I ordered that set and I will be doing like a full swatch video of all the shades super soon so stay tuned for that okay next up we have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Twinkle Sticks and I have the shades Spotlight and Skylight Ooh, these look really pretty so here's the packaging and this one is in the color Skylight oh my gosh it is gorgeous do you guys see that highlight so again that is skylight and it's a cream highlighter stick oh my gosh really really pretty and then the next shade is called spotlight oh and spotlight must be more like a peach shade here's what the packaging looks like when you open it up and then there is spotlight so these are really gorgeous and again those are the cream highlighters you guys know when i really like a highlight i'm like just back and forth <laughs> the next two are also liquid highlights and these are the pro glow ones they come in the shade sparkler and exposed and these are actually in a tube so I really like that too because since they are in the pro line you can put them in your kit if you're a makeup artist and I do freelance on the weekend so I will definitely be putting these in my kit so the first one is called sparkler and I went ahead and just put a little bit on my hand right here that way you guys can kind of see it blended out Ooh. That is a really nice. And honestly, you could probably use that as, oh, well, you could probably use that as a base for eyeshadow as well because it is like a really nice consistency. So you could probably lay that down as an eyeshadow like cream base. So that one's in the shade Sparkler. Okay, this next one's in the shade Exposed and this is gonna be more for lighter skin tones. But as you can see, they are like blinding. You guys know, like, I love a good, like, 
bam highlight and these are definitely it okay so yeah again these are the twinkle sticks and then these over here are the pro glow highlighters they're all just really gorgeous and i asked you guys if you would like to see like a full first impressions tart one brand makeup tutorial and a lot of you guys on snapchat and instagram said you would like that so let me know down below because of course like i want to haul everything for you guys so you can see it swatched but then I also want to like test everything out so you can see what it looks like on the skin or being applied like in action. <laughs> but these look really nice like first impression wise. Okay, so the next thing is a friction stick and my friend Erin loves this. This is an exfoliating cleanser and here's what the packaging looks like. And here's a close up. I'm not going to test it on my hand only because I literally just got done self tanning today. But from what I've heard, this is like super great to exfoliate your face and like get all of your dead skin off. And I'm going to try my best to like link everything in the order like down below for you guys too. That way in case you want to like check any of the products out, you have them linked down below. Okay, next three things are going to be blushes. And back last year at the Sephora holiday sale, I actually got to snag one of the Tarte like mini blush palettes and I love those blushes. So the first one is called Flush and this is a really pretty bright pink. So there's Flush. So there's that swatched on the finger. Okay, next shade we have is Fearless and this is a really pretty coral shade. And it looks a little bit more pink in the pan. And again, that's called Fearless. And there's Fearless swatch on the finger. I'm gonna show you guys swatches on my hand in just a second. And then the last one is called Doll Face. And again, another really pretty like pink blush. And then there's that one swatched on the finger and it is the lightest of the three. Okay, so here are these swatched. So you have Flush, you have Fearless, and then you have Doll Face. And these shades will be really pretty, especially with like spring and summer coming up for like springtime and colorful makeup looks. And last time there, they're swatched. Okay, next thing we have are Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Highlighters. And I do like that a lot of their products are like a 12 hour wear, especially for me, because a lot of times with work, like my day job, I mean, I can be anywhere from like eight to 12 hours working. So the first one is called Stunner. And it's a really pretty like champagne highlight. Ooh. That looks really pretty. Next we have Sparkler, and this is still the same formula, it's just a little bit darker. And that one is more of like a gold tone, so that's Sparkler. Swatching these, you guys, I cannot wait to start testing all these out. And then the very last one's called Exposed. And then there's that one, it's more of like a bright, kind of almost like a, a yellow toned highlighter. So there are those three on the hand. There are those three swatched, so pretty. So you have Stunner, Sparkler, and then Exposed. Three very beautiful shades. The next thing is the Tarte Block Party On The Go Mattifiers. And again, my friend Erin told me about these and she loves them. And I think these will be really good, especially on days that I do work late because, oh, look how pretty the packaging is. Sometimes I can get oily in the T-zone. So here's what it looks like. And this must be like, yeah, a mattifying type powder. And then it also comes with this little thing right here. So I'm trying to see what this is. These are blotting papers. So you kind of get like your all in one little kit right here. And I do like that it's travel friendly. So again, you can just throw it on your purse and keep it on the go. And that is the blot party. Okay, next thing we have are the glossy lip paints. And here is the packaging of these. I've tried out either Double Tap or Hella. There was one that was included in the holiday collection and I did a look with it and used the gloss with the look. Okay, so first one's called Poison and here's the packaging. And this looks super dark. It almost looks like, dang, there's this one MAC Cosmetics lipstick that's really dark and it's kind of purpley. And it reminds me of that as far as the darkness. Night Mall, that's what it's called. So here is Potion. And these are really, really opaque, especially for a lip gloss. Okay, the next one is called Hella, and this one's a really pretty nude with almost a little bit of a pink undertone in it, lip gloss. The next one's called Double Tap, and there is Double Tap swatched on the hand. And then this is the last one, it's called WCW, I'm guessing for like Woman Crush Wednesday, but this is more like a wine red type color. And again, they are so pigmented, especially for glosses. Okay, next thing are these Tarte Metallic Eyeshadows, and they sent me eight different shades. One thing I was really excited about when I was opening everything up, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's so 
many things in here that are so colorful and I think that's going to really get me out of my box. So here's what the packaging looks like for the metallic eyeshadows and then you just open it up and you do have like a little mirror and then you have the eyeshadow. So this is the first one and it's called Jaded. Oh my gosh, these are creamy like butter. Like they honestly feel like a stick of butter. <laughs> so that is the shade Jaded. Okay, this next one is called Pop Rock. Oh, this is beautiful. Pop Rock is such a pretty shade and it almost has like a gold shift to it. So again, that one is Pop Rock. I have to like move my hand so you guys can see just because it almost blinds you whenever I move it around. All right, this next shade is called Genie and there's the shade Genie Swatch. These are really pretty. As I'm swatching them, I'm like thinking of looks that I want to do with them. They do have a little thing right here where it looks like you can pop them out and like put them in a palette. So this one is called Revel. Ooh, I knew this was going to be a good one. <laughs> There's that shade swatch right there. You know, I started with a tan hand, but by the time that we get done with this, my hand's probably going to be like super pale like I was this morning before I self tanned. <laughs> okay, this next one's called Vintage and it's a really pretty gold. I can just not get over how buttery these are. Okay, so that one right there is called Vintage. This one is called Clueless and then there's Clueless Swatch. I remember like a long time ago when I first really got into makeup and I was like so pumped whenever I swatched the Makeup Forever like metallic shadows. These you guys, oh my gosh, they are way creamier. I'm like mind blown right now. I really like these. And for me, for the most part, I can always tell like whenever I swatch something and I feel the formula, like how it will be on the eyes. Now there are some shades that surprise me, but for the most part, I kind of know. So I really do like these so far. And then this one's called Amethyst. It's a really pretty purple. They just blend into the skin so well. And yeah, they're so creamy. Now the last one's the only one that I'm kind of iffy about. And the only reason why is because it's a black. And then this one is called Gromit. But you know, normally black shades are really hard, I feel like, to make super creamy from what I've tried in the past. So there's that one in the pan. Moment of truth. Oh my gosh, I'm about to be taking that back. It feels pretty dang creamy. Oh yeah. Yep, there you go. Super dark and still super creamy. So those are the metallic eyeshadows. And again, there are those last four swatched on the hand. And it's amazing to me because I literally just like swipe my finger. I didn't have to like go back and go back to even get like a swatch. Like one swipe and done super pigmented with those shadows. So really excited about those. Honestly, I'm really excited about everything so far that I've touched. So next thing is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 and this is their highlighting palette and I showed this on Snap and it looked really, really pretty. So look how gorgeous the packaging is. They always have like such fun packaging. And then here are the shades. Okay, so here's that swatch. I'm just like a highlight fest today and I feel like highlighting is going to be like super, super trendy this year for summer. So here's that palette swatch. The only shade that didn't swatch very well is this one right here, but the rest of them look pretty nice. So that is a volume two of the Rainforest of the Sea highlighting palette. Okay, next thing we have are the Quench Lip Rescues. So these are more like a sheer kind of wash of color, but look how cute the packaging is. They're very hydrating and here is kind of like a close up. This one is the shade Cherry and they're the kind of lipstick that you can wear like whether or not you have makeup on. It's the kind of lipstick that you can wear like to the beach. So I really like having something like this. Normally I wear the YSL ones. So I'm glad that I have something, especially too, these are very affordable and they look really nice as far as like first impressions. I'm all about those shiny lips. <laughs> so the next one is the shade Coral and I just cannot get over how cute the packaging is on these. Okay, and then there is Coral. This one smells kind of minty. The other one didn't smell minty, but that one smells kind of minty. And then we have clear, which is very self-explanatory, but I can swatch it for you guys. Oh, and this one has like little seahorses on it too. So obviously the clear one, like you can still see it's very shiny, but clear. Ooh, and then the very last one is in the shade buff. 
And this one is my favorite packaging. And this one's more of like a nude shade. Kind of like matches my skin right now with my tan. But they're those swatched and they look really nice. I almost want to put this on. Like over. My lips to give it kind of like a shine. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> They're very comfortable. Really comfortable. Okay, next thing we have the Park Princess Amazonian Clay Matte Waterproof Bronzer. And here is the packaging. And here's what it looks like when you take it out of the package. Okay, and this is what it looks like. It looks a little bit light and only because I just self tan. But once you actually swatch it, it is darker than like what it looks. <laughs> Look at this self tan line. It looks lighter in the pan than what it is when you apply it. So this is a really pretty matte shade and I like that it's not orange. You honestly could almost use this as a contour shade and this would be really good for lighter skin tones. If you're really tan, you probably would want to get, I don't know if they have like another shade, but this one's in the shade Park Avenue Princess. And just from feeling it, it felt really smooth too. Oh my gosh, I missed a glossy paint. This is the color Fave. So let me go ahead and swatch this. Sorry about that. So here is the color Fave and there that is swatched right there. That is the glossy paint. So we have some lashes. These are called Girl Boss. You have Flirt. And I really like how thin the band is on these. Then you have Goddess. And then the last one is called Center of Attention. There's that right there. Next thing is the Brighter Days Highlighting Moisturizer. And it says it's in the color Brighter Days. So here's what the packaging looks like. And I think this is like, maybe just like a highlighting lotion. Oh yeah. So it's just like a lotion, but it does have like a really pretty shift to it. Oh yeah, that is really pretty. So this would be really good, especially like for the beach. And me and Snow are planning on going maybe to Jamaica sometime soon. So I cannot wait to like have some of these items to take with me. They also sent over kind of like from the same collection, their Hair Goals Dry Shampoo. And y'all know that I love dry shampoo. So I will definitely keep you updated on this. And then they also sent over their Fake Tanner. I've had a lot of people that I've watched on YouTube say they really like this. So I will do like an updated video for you guys to let you know how it works out because I love self tanners. Obviously like half of my hand is gone because I had one on today. <laughs> then we have the Tarte and Bloom palette and I actually own this already so I'm probably either going to save it maybe for you guys or to put in my kit. What I plan on doing is testing out all these products and what I really like I'm going to buy for you guys for a giveaway. And I'm trying to test out a lot of them like this week as you're seeing this video because with the sale especially it makes it a lot less expensive too. Okay now this is one thing I was really excited about. This is a glitter liner and I mean I was excited about everything but this is in the color rose gold and it looked really really pretty. So here is the packaging. And you have like a liner that is more of like a cream liner. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a look with this. So there's that. And then you have like a glitter liner to go over it. And I love how thin the brush is because it makes it really easy to apply. So I will probably have to do like a rose gold themed look whenever I do a first impressions if you guys want to see that. And Tarte also was so kind to send me over a bunch of their lip paints. So what I decided since there are so many shades is that I'm going to do a full dedicated video to these. So expect these in a full video and then the Color Splash lipsticks will be a separate video as well. That way since there's so many colors I can give you guys like my true thoughts and everything after wearing the formula because I haven't got a chance to like test these out yet. Okay so I have filmed some very long haul videos before but never in my life has my card on my camera became full. So that tells me that this is a very 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 long video already. So what I'll probably do is upload the next part of this video like maybe next week or so. But anyways, like I said, I'm so grateful to Tarte for sending me this package. It's like such a dream come true and I just never thought that my journey with YouTube like this would happen. It's just like such a dream and I'm just so grateful and I'm so grateful to you guys too because without y'all none of this would be possible. So thank you guys so much as always for all your love and support and thank you to Tarte for this super awesome package. I cannot wait to swatch all the rest of it and 
play with it and do first impressions and everything else. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.